Hello, this is Mindar from Green Thumb Productions, and today I'm going to show you a really fun project to do with the kids, and it's actually really fun to do for adults also, and that is to make a pizza garden. Now what you're going to need is you're going to need a deep container, you're going to need some all-purpose potting soil, or well-seasoned compost, you're going to need determinate tomato plants, you're going to need peppers of your choice, you're going to need garlic, you're going to need some herbs that you like on your pizza, such as basil, oregano. You're going to need some slow-release fertilizer, and you're going to need some coffee filters. Now, before you ever start planting this garden, you will need to properly clean your container. And how you do that is you simply put the container in a bucket of water with a cap full of bleach. Make sure that you scrub and remove any soil residue. Let it soak for about five minutes take it out, completely rinse it, and let it set it out in the sun and let it completely dry. The sun will actually help sterilize the inside of the container. Once you have that, you need to create a drainage system in your container. Now it is always best when you choose a container to make sure that it has drainage holes. And as you can see in this one, um, it has some drainage holes. This pot actually has a little crack in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a layer of drainage material and what that will do it will allow the water to drain out the excess water and it will prevent any soil from coming through those holes. Now, you can use pot shards, which is um, you know something if you have a broken clay pot or some stone sitting around, you simply place that over the holes in the container. Then another type of drainage material that I like to use is just plain paper coffee filters. And you simply use these and you cover the drainage holes. It's okay if the coffee filters overlap. It won't cause a problem at all. Make sure that the coffee filters are flat so that soil doesn't get up underneath the coffee filters and drain out with the water. The next part of the process is we're going to put soil in the container. Now, like I said, you're going to want a good all-purpose potting soil or well-seasoned compost. Now, you're actually going to fill this container about a fourth of the way full. And the very first plant that you're going to plant in the pizza garden is the tomato plant. Now, tomatoes like to be planted deep, and that's why we fill this container only a fourth full. Now, when you choose your tomato plants, you need to make sure that you choose one that is a determinate variety. And what that means is that tomato plant will grow to a certain height, it will bloom, it will fruit, and then it is done. Determinate tomatoes don't have to be trellised in any manner whatsoever and that's why we want to use a determinate type of tomato plant for this project. So I fill this container approximately one fourth full and I'm going to select my tomato plant. Now the pizza garden design is designed so that you have slices. So once you continue filling this up and you get to the appropriate level you can actually draw the lines or the slices in your design. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tease the roots of my tomato plant. Now if you don't do this, what will happen is the roots will continue to grow in whatever shape the container that you took them out of. So it's very important to tease them and it's just slightly tearing them so that they have the ability to grow outward. The other thing that you will need to do is you will need to remove any leaves that may end up in the soil and that can cause a disease problem. You want at least three leaves sticking up above the pot that you choose. So I think that's pretty good. And now I'm going to start filling my container on. Now there's a couple approaches that you can utilize when you uh, do your slices design. You can actually use cardboard strips and utilize that technique to cut slices. You can actually use your finger and draw the slices. But what really, whatever works for you, or you can just 
wing it and do an artistic pizza design. Now you want to fill this container so that you have a half an inch rim in the, in the pot. And this pot's pretty easy. You see this lip right here? That's actually where we're going to uh, stop filling. Now the reason for that is it makes room for water when you water so that you don't lose your soil out the top of the container before it can percolate down through the soil. One more scoop. Alright, so the next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my pizza slices with my finger. Now you can draw as many pizza slices as you would like. It just depends on how many plants that you want to put into your container. The next plant that I'm going to plant is my pepper. An easy way to get your pepper plant out of its container is to push on the bottom and gently lift up. Now again, much like we did with the tomatoes, we need to tease the roots of this plant. And when you plant this, you want the level of soil in the container to equal the level of soil of the plant. Now, because basil enhances the flavor of tomatoes, I'm going to plant my basil seeds around my tomato plant. And I'm actually going to take the two slices on either side of my tomato plant and plant my basil there. But it's really up to you. The design, the number of slices is really personal. The next thing I'm going to plant is my garlic. Now, I love fresh garlic. Don't try to plant the garlic that you get at the grocery store. You actually have to order this through a seed catalog or a feed and seed that carries seeds and get the appropriate garlic. As you can see, this garlic right here is already sprouting. Now, before you plant your garlic, you will need to put it in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours. You will need to plant your garlic an inch down. Now, I've measured and I know from the tip of my finger down to the first knuckle, that is an inch. So that's my gauge. And you can plant two or three cloves of garlic in your slice. Now you can repeat the process by filling in the other slices with oregano, um, thyme as an example, parsley, if you like that herb on top of your pizzas. The very last thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a slow release fertilizer. Now a good brand to use, and I recommend this brand because it's organic, it won't build up in the soil, you won't get that nasty salt ring inside your containers, is the vegetable fertilizer from Winchester Gardens. And this fertilizer is very simple to use. It's actually in a spike form. And how you do that is you actually take a spike and according to the directions that each plant will need, um, depending on the diameter of the plant, the type of plant, they can need up to four spikes. Again, but what I'm going to do is I'm only going to put a spike for the tomato plant and a spike for the pepper plant. In this type of container, you don't want to overdo it. Now, how you do this is you're actually going to measure out approximately six inches from the stem of the plant. And you're going to place your fertilizer spike. And since I said I'm only going to put two, I mean, here's the other one. And again, you can see here's somewhat of a smooth surface that you can utilize to push down into the soil. You just want to push it down so that it's barely underneath the soil and cover it up a little bit. Now how a slow release fertilizer works is every time you water, a little bit of it dissolves. And that's the, the kind of thing that you need, especially if you're a beginning gardener. You may forget to feed your plants. 
So give this project a try. It's a lot of fun with your kids. So until we meet on the garden path again, this has been Mindar the Gardening.